Hello, thank you for popping in to Gainer's Happy Place and this video is about journaling. Now, if you remember the lovely Jay from Jay's Journaling, that's one channel, and her other channel is Jay's um, Dolls UK, sent me a massive bag of Happy Mail which was journaling things and um, because I'd been watching her channel uh, since she started it and I was I absolutely love watching her make her mushroom diary which she's doing at the moment so if you love journaling please go across to Jay's journaling channel and watch her her mushroom journal is just gorgeous and I am mesmerized I watch every single second of her making this mushroom journal well, she sent me happy mail and um, because I said I showed an interest, I'd like to have a go. And then surprise, surprise, I got this big bag in my uh, porch and it was full of journaling stuff. So I've had a go now. I struggled at first, lost faith, but uh, Jay egged me on and says, come on, you can do it. So uh, this is what I have achieved. So as you see, the cover... This is all stuff that Jay gave me, uh, except for the material which I bought on eBay to cover my cardboard with. And I bought this material, which is C, is because I absolutely adore the C. Um, but everything else Jay gave me. Now, I put, if you can see there, a little brass clip with a ring on that Jay included, and I attached this um leaf to it with string then i've also got two little charms again that came in my happy mail one is a butterfly and one is a, a little disc with hope on on the material itself i put this fabric that was in my happy mail uh, it's like a fine light mesh which i thought would be perfect to put over the print to dull it down a little bit and also she included this fabric here which is sari material it's like silk so I glued it there then I twisted it glued it here and then I twisted it again and glued it at the top there we go and I put these three um I can't remember what Jay calls them but I clipped them onto the sari material. Uh, they've got two silver prongs at the back that you open out. And so I put them onto the sari material before I glued it to the book. And then as you see there, there are my stitches to stitch in the pages. I used embroidery thread, which I already had at home. And I used uh, two different colours. There's a light green there, a darker one in the middle, and then another light one there. And inside, I have been able to include three signatures. So if we open it, all you do is pull this um, up. And then this string is just attached to the ring sorry there we go it's just attached to the ring and just wraps around the book itself now i've done no decoration inside i've now got the fun bit to do so you open it up and i put that paper inside which again was in my happy mail and i also glued on this one here to make um a little tuck spot so I can put things in there, but I've also got to decorate this. And my first page is a map because it's got the C round it. And my uh, journal is going to be C. Um, that's going to be the um, theme of this journal. And then I've got this plain piece of paper here, which has got a pattern on that. Then graph paper. I've got a brown paper here. I didn't have the uh, pretty leaves. Um, Jay's got some pretty, pretty leaves with the uh, mushrooms on. But this is my first journal and I wanted to use what Jay had included. So, um, and this paper is like a sugar paper. 
I've got another printed one there with an otter on. These were all, none of this is from myself. All this was in my happy mail. There's another sea picture there. I've got a sheet of music paper, some green sugar paper because that goes in with the sea. I've got a doily and then they're all repeated again. Uh, there's some more flowers there. These are all repeated. And then what I did, I watched on another channel, was that my knot for my string in the middle of this first signature, I stuck it inside an envelope. So this envelope will be opened either at the top or down the side to put tuck things into. So all this has got to be decorated. So that's the first signature. And then my second signature again, I stuck this card down the centre there to cover the sellotape because I put um, a layer of sellotape over my card because the cardboard started to split when I uh, folded it. I didn't have a piece of card with folds in. So when I folded mine, uh, it did, uh, so I, to strengthen it, I put sellotape and then to cover the sellotape, I've put a piece of matching um, card that's on the front. This is my second signature. We've got the map again. We've got the sugar paper, a printed one, a um, couple from a magazine. I've got um, wrapping paper. So you get the idea. So that's my second signature. And then I had room to put a third signature, which is again covered with the map because it's got the oceans on. Um, I've got a piece of, I don't know if this is Braille or it's from a sheet of what they used to use in the old organs, a music organ that you wound and it read. I'm not quite sure what that one is. So we've got a spotted one there flower one there a red doily this time some vintage um magazine prints um one out of peter rabbit so again my knot is hidden in an envelope so this is for you jay to show you and then at the back that's just plain and I managed to glue that because I, I don't have a sewing machine, but I managed to glue that without any bumps. So I was really pleased about that. So there is my first journal and I cannot wait to get started and uh, decorate the inside. So this is for you, Jay, to show you what I have made with all your beautiful, beautiful uh, happy mail. And I've still got loads, loads left to decorate the inside and also enough to make my second one. So I'm absolutely thrilled. At first, I didn't know if I'd be able to do it, but it just shows you with a bit of encouragement, you can. So if you want to get into journaling, please go and have a look at Jay's journal uh, channel and watch her decorate her mushroom journal. Um, She's got some beautiful videos. So uh, I've got to watch all of the videos again on how she does the tags and all the other things. So I know how to um, decorate my own. So thank you so much again, Jay. I'm so glad you've got me into this hobby. Cannot thank you enough. Till next time. Bye for now.